Hello everyone and welcome to drum lesson number five. Now today I wanted to take a few minutes and teach you guys how to approach a piece of music that you need to learn how to play. Now many of you probably have your own way, many of you have done this before, but for those of you who are interested in um, a really good way to learn a piece of music, like if you're presented a piece of music and you have to learn it really quickly, um, this is kind of how you can do it. And the reason that I'm talking about this today is because I'm currently working on some music. Um, Georgia State Marching Band, uh, they have been invited to perform in the inaugural parade, which is like the part of the celebration of President Obama being re-inducted into, uh, into the White House for his second term. And it's a huge honor for us to get to go do this. I mean, it's, on, it's only our third year as a marching band, and uh, I'm really proud to be a part of it. Now, for the marching band, I play the drum set in the rock band, like our pit kind of front ensemble, except we're usually at the back of the field. But, of course, I can't march a drum set in a parade, so uh, I get to play tenors. So I'll be the fifth tenor for our drum line. And because of that, I have to learn all of the drum line's music. I have to learn uh, the song that we'll be playing during the actual performance. I have to learn the cadence, and I have to learn like some exercises and stuff like that. So while I was preparing for this, I wanted to take a second and show you guys the best way to prepare for it. Um, I, I don't know if it's the best way, you may have a different way, but it's how I prepare for it, and it's how I learn a piece of music. Now, uh, if you take a look at a piece of song, it's a piece of song, if you take a look at a piece of music, um, usually it's going to have, like, I mean, it's going to be a, a pretty long piece, and this one is about 46 measures. So if you sit down and you're like, I'm just going to play all the way through this, then you're not going to be able to learn it so quickly because it, you have to kind of break it down. And so what I do is I usually take chunks. Now a chunk can be anything from uh, two beats of a measure to uh, it could be it could be eight measures. It could be it could be sixteen measures. But you want to tr try and keep your chunks pretty small because if you get too big, then you're really not able to concentrate on um, the particular section that you're working on. And so. Uh, what I did was, I actually learned this whole piece before, but then they just gave us an updated version that changed the first four measures. And so, actually first five measures. And so I've been working on the first five measures for the past uh, couple of minutes. And what I've done is I broke it down into uh, first just two measures at a time, then like three measures at a time, then four measures, then five measures. And there's certain parts in there that uh, took a little extra practice, so I would break it down and play maybe just three uh, just three beats over and over again. I'd just kind of loop it. And so I'm going to show you uh, a quick way to kind of learn a chunk of a chunk of a song, and then I'll show you like how to kind of loop some different sections and what what I do for that. Now the first part is going to be a two measure uh, kind of chunk, and what you want to do is you want to make sure that you uh, practice to a metronome because of course that's that's really going to help uh, especially if it's like anything drumline related you always want to use a met for that um, and the song is marked at 128 beats per minute but I'm going to practice it at 100 all right so you get your met going and I'm going to show you a two measure chunk and how I rep that real quick one two ready go So that's two measures repeated, and next I'm going to add on one more measure because I feel I got those first two measures pretty well, so I'm going to add on a third measure. One, two, ready, go. One, two, again, go. One, two, mess that up a little bit. That was a pretty good three measures. Now, the second time I messed it up, so that's why I repped it one more time. But what you want to do is just want to break it down like that. Uh, two measures, three measures, four measures, you can tack on a little bit at a time. And then once you got a chunk really well, move on to the next chunk. 
And so once you move on to that next chunk, then you may want to take those two chunks together. So I haven't played this in like an hour, but I'm going to attempt to do like an eight measure chunk and then I'm going to repeat that. So let's try that. One, two, ready, go. So that's an eight measure chunk, and that's basically two chunks that I've been working on put together. Now one more thing that'll help you is, say you get a tricky part. Now there's one section in here that has a paradiddle, it's two, two bars of sixteenths that are split up into a paradiddle tap, and then a, uh, a right accent, and then two lefts. And so, um, at first glance, uh, it just looks like sixteenths with two accents, but you gotta make sure you get the right sticking in there. And so what you can do is you can just loop those two beats. One, two, ready, go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, ready, go. And once you get that, then you can take that and put it into the measure. One, two, ready, go. One, two, ready, go. last time. All right, so now I've got that measured pretty well. And so what you want to do is if you're still having a hard time with a section or if you just want to get that section down really well, practice that whole measure like I just did with those two bars in there and then add in what's after that. That way you get the feel of what's coming before and what's coming after and just loop that. One, two, ready. So, now that you've got the gist of learning a piece of music down, what you want to do is once you get your chunks down and once you start learning those chunks and, and getting everything so that you can start playing through it, uh, you want to take those chunks a little bit faster. So the eventual tempo is 128, but I'm at 100. Now if you really want to be thorough, you can increase it by uh, like 5 BPM. I'm going to stop this for a second. All right, you can increase it, increase it by like 2 or 3 or 5 BPM at a time. Now. If you have to learn the music really, really fast, uh, you can increase it by a little bit more than that. Now I'm gonna go from 100 to 110. And then at 110, I'm going to run chunks again. Bump it up to 110. So now I'm a little bit faster. I'm gonna play the same chunks I was working on before, those first eight measures. So, as you can tell, that one went pretty well, but I've already practiced that, so um, that's what you want to do. You just want to raise it up a little bit, raise it up a little bit, and eventually get up to full speed. All right, so I hope that helps. Uh, like I said, what you want to do is you want to break it down into those chunks. Uh, that's the first step, and then if there's anything that gives you a lot of trouble, you can even break it down into just a couple of beats, and then just rep those beats, then rep the chunks, rep the chunks around it, and gradually you can build the whole piece. Um, it's, it's a good way to get a hold of each part of a song quickly. And then, like I said, you wanna take it at a slower tempo and then gradually increase the tempo. And within a few hours practice, a couple, even it could even be shorter than that, you can get a whole piece down and really be able to play it well. So yeah, that's a quick lesson on how to learn a piece of music. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below. Uh, if not, check out my other drum lessons, my other covers and other videos and stuff, and have an awesome day. Also, be sure to check out the George Day Marching Man in the inaugural parade. I'm going to be jamming some tenors.